While esters usually react slowly with borohydride, they react quickly with the more aggressive aluminium hydride reagent. Here, an ester treated with LAH, followed by a quench with acid, produces two alcohols. The hydrides in LAH are strongly nucleophilic because of the large electronegativity difference between aluminium and hydrogen. Hydride attacks the electrophilic carbon of the ester, forming a tetrahedral intermediate, which then collapses, with loss of a leaving group, to give an aldehyde and an alkoxide. The aldehyde is highly electrophilic and will react quickly with a second hydride to give a second alkoxide. Neutralization with acid then provides the alcohol products. In the first step of the reduction, nucleophilic hydride attacks the carbonyl and creates a tetrahedral intermediate. As well as swapping a pi bond for a stronger sigma bond, the unstable electron density from hydride has been transferred to the more electronegative oxygen atom. Because this reaction is occurring at high pH, it is possible for an alkoxide to break off as a leaving group and for the carbonyl to reform. This gives the intermediate aldehyde, which is not isolated and which goes on to react further. It is impossible to isolate the aldehyde at this point because it is so reactive and LAH is such an aggressive reagent. A second hydride nucleophile therefore adds to the electrophilic carbonyl, thereby reducing the aldehyde down to the primary alkoxide. Once the reduction steps of the reaction are complete, there are two equivalents of alkoxide in solution that need to be quenched. Addition of dilute acid delivers the two alcohols that are isolated as the ultimate reaction products. When an ester is treated with lithium aluminium hydride, two equivalents of hydride are introduced. The first hydride attack leads to an aldehyde and alkoxide leaving group, and the second to give a primary alkoxide. Quenching the mixture with dilute acid provides the two alcohols that are isolated as the products of this process. 